For years, Nasser Yusuf Muhammad caught fish. Now he just follows them. To do that, he has laid out a measuring tape. Nasser Yusuf and other former fishermen are counting the number of fish in this area near the coral reef. Their work will help monitor what's happening to marine life near Pate Island's coral reefs. It's important for our future generations, including our children, to be able to see the endangered sea turtles, the endangered dugongs, the nice coral habitats and the beautiful environment. That's why I joined the reef rangers. The 12 reef rangers work for the Pate Marine Community Conservancy. Twelve communities have already joined the organization. Conservationist Juliet King has been working with the project for some time, along with marine scientist George Mayner. King and Mayner provide scientific support for the program and help make sure that the communities continue to improve the coordination of their work. A former fisherman, Nasser Yusuf and his fellow reef rangers know how important it is to preserve the island's fish population. Their catch has been dwindling for years. The initiative hopes to counter this trend. Certain species of fish are key indicators for the overall health of the population. The rangers use a list to help them keep count. In recent years, the reef rangers have also offered advice on fishing techniques. For example, nets shouldn't be used in shallow waters to help protect the young fish. They've also set up protected areas. Those areas have been agreed and now it's a slow implementation um, of ensuring that all the community are aware which areas are, are to be left, which areas uh, only certain fishing types can be done. And I think really it's over the next five years that we'll be beginning to see impact. But the project is at risk. The Kenyan government wants to build a large port here. Over the next 10 years, they plan to build offshore terminals where the enormous oil tankers will be anchored. They'll transport the oil brought here from inland oil fields. The conservationists are very concerned about the impact of the infrastructure project. It will affect the fish and the food that fish eat. It will also affect the fish turtles' habitat and that will have an impact on our fisheries in general. Others worry that the impact of the new port will spread to areas further away. It is also important in terms of fisheries because actually much of the fisheries resources in Kenya are from this uh, part of the country and uh, specifically uh, Pate Island and to a larger extent uh, Kiunga on the uh, northern side. Despite the harbour construction, the communities are determined to continue the nature conservation initiative. Project manager Nadir Mohammed and his team spent several years convincing local communities they'd have to join forces to achieve their goals. The team collaborates closely with the reef rangers. They also work together to try to stop poaching. Even though the fishermen in the communities and the rangers of Pate Island haven't been working together very long, They've already achieved one of their goals. Local residents have learned more about the importance of the natural environment and are doing more to conserve it.